These islands are for sale in the Maldives. Most ultra-rich have their own private island around the world, but these islands don't give them nearly enough satisfaction as owning a deluxe private island in the Maldives. Home to more than 1,000 tropical flawless islets, the Maldives has become the region where billionaires live. And finding islands in the Maldives is difficult because there aren't many left for sale. But today's video lets you know about the islands available for sale in the Maldives that you can buy right now. We'll be looking at what aesthetic islands have to offer and what makes them highly coveted. Let's dive in. Number one, Ifaru Resort with Airport and Funadu Island. Offering a functional airport, a new resort and an additional Virgin Island, this 168.5 acre island is the most sublime island you can buy in the Maldives. The villa's symmetry offers optimum views and the island's private territory of 7.5 hectares offers all liberty to the owner. The Ifaru Resort offers a total of 150 villas, including six twin villas and 100 duplex villas, in addition to 35 beach villas and nine beach villas with pool. Combining them all, this offers a maximum bed capacity of 300. The resort island offers all-day dining restaurants with a dining capacity of 215 guests. Your guests can enjoy the main restaurants, bars, main pools, arrival pavilions, buggy station, spa, tennis and badminton court. Leaving no minor details to go unnoticed, the island has a fully developed infrastructure that includes a heat recovery system, seawater cooling system, fuel tanks, powerhouse and desalination building. If you buy this resort island, you get another virgin island called Funadu in Bar Atoll in the northern Maldives region. Stretching over 11.69 hectares of territory, this island can bear 90 villas. They are yet to be built, but the concept is available. Number 2. Amilara Private Islands The Dutch Docklands are Amilara Private Islands developers, letting the ultra-rich owners experience the pinnacle of luxury. Now, building your own island in the same style you have in your mind is no longer a dream. The Dutch Docklands let you have a private floating island of any size and shape you want. Not only do you get to choose the aesthetics of your island, but also the location where you want the floating island to be. Whether you want it in Dubai, New York, Miami or Maldives, the Dutch Docklands would build the same floating, stunning island you want in precisely the exact location you pinpointed. Unlike any other island on the planet, you get to customise how your island would look like. Making owning a private island a privilege for only the uber-rich, the Dutch Docklands lets you shape your own mansion-styled island, floating on any waters you want. Now, owning a customised private floating island is the new trend in luxury, and you can be the only one to have it in the Maldives. Number 3. Can Do Island Expanding over 42 acre in a tropical region with villas and staff quarters, Kandu Island defines how private islands should be. Bearing coconut palms, shrubs, soft white sandy beaches and a mammoth turquoise lagoon with crystalline water, Kandu Island lets its owners experience paradise on earth. With a brand new 5 bedroom, 5 bathroom bungalow, the island's owner can live with a family and maintain privacy. No other bungalows have been built for guests, making the island ultra private in every sense. However, there are quarters for staff, enough for 20 people. With a unique insulation on the island, you can produce natural fruits and vegetables whether the conditions are there or not. No matter which fruit you want to eat, this insulation lets you grow them and enjoy them anytime you want. Number 4. Amila Maldives Resort and Residences Amila Maldives Resort and Residences lets you own your own private island nestled with three bedroom settings you can choose from. You can have residences with either six four bedroom, one six bedroom or one eight bedroom residence facing a private beachfront enclave. The residencies have been built on state of the art designs and you can choose to either buy them all or just some of them. If you buy all residences, the whole island would belong to you. However, you will need to discuss the terms and conditions. On the island, you see a coral fringe style setting where crystal clear water lagoons and a private white sand beach await you. The residencies become the ultimate living spot with spacious living space, ultra 
ultra deluxe bedroom suites and a stunning sight of the Indian Ocean. Created in harmony with tropical surroundings, these residencies have been built with the highest and finest quality material. You get your own dedicated staff and private golf buggies you can use to witness natural lush foliage. If you plan to buy all residencies on the island, you will have access to world-class restaurants, a scuba diving centre, a kids club, a soothing spa and tennis courts of your own. Depending on the price, you can choose the things you want to own privately or accept to share with a Miller's luxury resort amenities. Half an hour from Valana International Airport, you can access a Miller residencies offering a class of luxury and extravagance. Number 5. Nakacha Huro Lagoon Stretching over a 20-acre territory, Nakacha Huru Lagoon is a lagoon-styled private island you can buy in some of the last undeveloped regions in the Maldives. Of the 20-acre shallow territory, a private 2.5-acre sandbank lets its new owner build mansions, resorts and beach settings. Being one of its own kind lagoon-styled island, most of the island's area remains submerged in water, offering an exceptional location to have a new Maldives private island resort. Within just 25 minutes, you can reach the island by speedboat from Mail International Airport, giving this island a prime location. The island offers a deep slope from the coral reef crown where you can do snorkeling and scuba diving to experience underwater. And because the island is naturally lagoon styled, it offers a flawless stage for swimming and other water sports. Which of these extravagant islands would you want to buy in the Maldives? Does the fully developed island with airports and mansions attract you? Or do you want to go with the undeveloped one? Comment your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe for more fascinating videos.